Hello guys, this is Tarashimori and I am going to draw my life for you today. But before we start, I want to say that my English is not really good, but well, it may be understandable. Understand... Understandable. Whatever. It all started on August 25th, 1985. I was born in São Paulo, the biggest city in Brazil. It's really crowded and crazy here, but it's a nice city. Well, if you don't know where is Brazil, Brazil is a country here in South America. And, well, a lot of people make this mistake, so let me make clear, we speak in Portuguese and not Spanish here. My parents are Japanese, so I had a kind of strict education where studying is one of the most important things in the world. And I should always aim to be the best. I also have a big brother and a little sister. Well, I'll talk more about them later in this video. Now, let's talk a little bit about when I was young. And yes, I had this kind of hair when I was young. I am ashamed of this. And to be honest, I was a complete failure until I was 13 years old. I had several health problems. I also had a strong feeling that I was ugly because every time my mom met someone, they were like, oh, look at your son, he's so handsome. Talking about my brother, of course. And then, oh, the other one is so nice. Talking about me. Well, <laughs> that was not really nice to listen. My brother could always beat me in everything, like video games. We used to play Marvel vs. Capcom, but he was way better than me. Also at drawing, but as you can see, my drawing rocks right now. Or maybe not. At school, he always had better grades than me, of course. And at sports, I wasn't really that bad, but my brother could run 100 meters in 12.6 seconds when he was 13 years old. And I can't do it, even now. Now let's talk about my cute little sister, who also won lots of medals and competitions. Even now she's one of the best volleyball players in her college. And guess what? I never won any sports medal. In my school, well, I was like many other YouTubers, and I was bullied. At least I was supposed to be a good student, right? But to be honest, I never liked to study, so I was the exact opposite and I was getting retained one year at school. At this point you may have guessed it already, but my self-esteem was really, really, really low. My parents put a lot of effort to help me, and they even took me to the psychiatrist, because they didn't know what to do anymore. And this was the dark part of my life. My parents and I cried a lot, cause nothing seemed to work. Okay, but to say that I was not bad at everything, there was one thing I was good at. When I was 7, my grandmother taught me my first origami, and after that my parents bought me a really nice and big origami book. When I was 9, I could already do all the origamis from that book by heart. When I was 11, I started going to the church, I changed schools, and I found out that I wasn't really dumb, but I didn't like to follow formulas. And that made me really slow to learn school subjects. But, well, I was getting better, I was slowly getting better, and of course, I changed my hairstyle. Later, I got accepted into University of São Paulo Mathematics School. But I decided that I wanted to be an engineer, so I went to the University of São Paulo Polytechnic School. And after six months, I decided that it wasn't what I really wanted, so I get back to the math school again. That was when I started dating my first girlfriend. We dated for one and a half years, but then we broke up for several problems. I got frustrated about all my indecisions, and started thinking more about my life. And at that time I asked myself what I really wanted to do. And I really liked Oregon, but, it, but I never thought about it seriously. So I started studying more about origamis, but my parents were against it in the beginning because they thought it would lead me to nowhere, and I understand them. But, one year later, I started my YouTube channel, just because. And my parents kept telling me to stop and dedicate more to the college. It made me really sad to think that I wouldn't work with one thing I really loved to do. Later, I wasn't really expecting, but in a few days, I started getting several views in my videos, and in a few months, I was getting thousands of views, 
and in less than one year I got my 1 million views mark. That was when I started dating my current girlfriend. I met her at her church. She's really cute, smart, she's that I walk to remember style girl, and she's gonna kill me for saying this. Well, we've been dating for three years. At some point, I don't remember exactly when, but my parents noticed that working with her game made me more happy. So they started supporting me and my decisions. And thanks to your help, I could even get to the NHK channel in Japan. And my parents are convinced that I am doing something good. You may think that I'm saying this just to play the nice guy and be nice to you, but that's not the case. I am really grateful for all the support you've been giving to me. And it has been essential for me to overcome my self-esteem problem. And I am just a little guy here in Brazil. And even though I can't say thank you one by one, I really am grateful. And I feel really lucky to have people all around the world sending good energies to me. And each one of you is really important to me, for I keep all these energies in my heart. Well, that's it. This was the brief story of my life. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my bad drawing. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. See you. Bye bye.